Community Matters and people in the Allendale neighborhood are speaking out against a proposed interstate that could run right through their community. A new report finds the I-49 intercity connector would do little to alleviate traffic congestion. NBC6's Delano Henry joins us live from Studio Control. Delano, what are people telling you? Alex, the people of Allendale say they are not just going to sit around and say nothing. They are going to make sure their voices are heard. How much money do I need to invest in my home and then they're going to come through and tear it down and give me this amount of money, but I've invested this large amount of money in it. Dorothy Wiley upset at the fact her neighborhood, Allendale, may face extinction in the future. This is what pisses me off. I don't know what to do. The Interstate 49 project has taken years to complete in Northwest Louisiana. Its last phase, a $650 million inner city connector with a proposed route going through Allendale. Never, never notified, and we live in the community. We are the community. Wally is a Hurricane Katrina survivor. Allendale has been her home for more than a decade. It's something her and Louis Brossett are not ready to lose. He's been here since the 1950s. Jesus is going to step in this. That's all I'm depending on. A new report from U.S. Per claims the inner city connector would do little to alleviate traffic congestion and is a waste of money. However, Louisiana DOTD officials found flaws in the group's findings. While he believes transportation officials should look at other cities for guidance. My mom always told me, go somewhere and learn some sense, then come back. So I feel like these people here, they need to go somewhere and learn some sense. The Department of Transportation and Development says the community will benefit from the project and great care would be taken to treat people fairly through the process if they are adversely impacted. Brossett believes their elected officials have not been a voice of the people. So many of the government officials and city officials have struggled to, to fight against us. And transportation officials say State Highway 3132 is another route being considered but it would cost nearly a billion dollars. Alex, back to you. All right, thank you, Delano.